So in this part seven, we are going to now talk about bread first search. Now, bread first search is really very important because it's going to help us print out all the nodes of this tree in a bread first manner. So basically, it is also called level order traversal. So basically, we are going to be taking this level, taking this level, and just like that. So if we are going to do a bread first search, intuitively, we are going to go from G and we go to C and I, C, I, B, E, H, J, B, E, H, J, and A, D, F, K, A, D, F, K. So this is a bright first traversal of this tree. Now, one question you may ask is, is there a relationship between this bright first traversal and the, and the three different traversals we, we talked about in order? Postorder and preorder. Well, we are going to talk about this a little later. Let's just complete this algorithm for bread first search. So the algorithm for a bread first search for a binary tree, and of course for any tree and even graphs, uses a queue and a list of nodes. So what it simply means, if you visit a node, then visit its children. If you visit the node, visit its children in the same manner, all right, or in the same level. So this is how it plays out. So the first step, we are going to take the root of the node and push it onto the queue. So we are going to take the root of the node and push it onto the queue. So here we are going to have G and we also add it to visited node G, all right? The next thing we are going to now be doing is we are going to iterate this queue. And once there is an item on this queue, we are going to add the children of those I of that item to the queue. So once we have we have G here, the next thing we are going to check is the children of G, right? So the children for G is C and I. So I'm going to say C and I. And once that happens, I'm also going to pop G from the queue. Or maybe I can just erase it. Uh, maybe, yeah. So let's just cancel it out. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to move one step in the queue C. C, we have the children are B and E, so I'm going to just add them to the queue B and E. We add them to the queue B and E. And then each time you add it to the children of a node, the, or the left and right children of a node, just pop it out from the node, so I'm from, the, from the queue. So I'm going to just say C. And once you are removing anything from the queue, it's guaranteed that it's going to remove from the, it, from the front of the queue or from the back of the queue, the item that was first added. So we have E here. So we are going to now move to I. So you can see I here. I has two children, H and J. So I'm going to add them to the queue, H and J, and pop I from the queue and put it into the list of visited nodes i. All right, so we now move to the next part, which is b. b is the next one. It has an item, uh, node a. So we are going to add a to the queue, and we are going to pop b from the queue and add it to the visited nodes, all right? Okay, so we now have E. E has two children, and the children are D and F, so I'm going to add them to the queue, D and F, okay? And remember, if you are, if you are adding to the queue, uh, of course, you can add something that you already added before. All right, so we now go to E. It has D and F. We've added D and F to the queue, so we are going to pop E from the queue onto the list of listed nodes. So, I would like you to pause the video at this time and try to complete this yourself. But for, for just tutorial purposes, I'm going to just complete it. So we have H. H has no children. So I'm going to just pop it from the queue and put it in the visited nodes. We have the next one is J. J has a child, K. So I'm going to add K to the queue and pop J from the queue and add it to the list of visited nodes. The next one is A. A is this one. It has no children, so I'm going to pop it and put it right here. The next one is D. D has no children. Pop and put it right here. 
F is the next one. F has no children. Pop it from the queue, uh, from the queue, or dequeue it from the queue, and put it right here. F. So I actually use pop. It's actually dequeue. And finally, we have K. K has no children. Pop from the queue and put it right here. So at this time, the queue is now empty, and we have our breakfast search, right? So this is basically how the algorithm goes. I hope it's clear. And in the next part, we are now going to use exactly these two data structures, Q and, and a list, to implement it in Python. So let's see in the next part. Meanwhile, please subscribe to my channel if this has been informative for you. Also, leave me a comment if you have any uh, questions whatsoever.